Welcome to this quick eight minute abs workout using a yoga block. My name is Jesse McMaster and I am a holistic fitness trainer and a master yoga and Pilates instructor here to help you check the fitness box in a way that keeps you pain free and motivated. Please make sure you like and subscribe for more holistic fitness tips. And for today's workout, all you're going to need is a yoga block and a pillow or a folded blanket. Please take a moment to prepare a safe workout space for yourself and let's get ready to strengthen those core muscles. Let's begin seated. Grab your yoga block, bring your legs out in front of you. If sitting on the ground is uncomfortable, put a folded blanket or pillow under your hips. Place your yoga block in between your thighs, grab the back of your thighs, and then inhale, sit up tall, lift your chest to the ceiling, and exhale and roll back. Do that again. Inhale, create a back bend, pull the shoulders down, lift the heart. Exhale, draw your abs in as you roll back towards your tailbone. Inhale, lift, exhale, roll back. Now release your arms forward. Make strong fists with your hands. Inhale, you're on top of those sit bones. Exhale, you pull your abs in and you rock back. Do that again. Hug those thighs together, keep your legs nice and active, and focus on pulling the belly button towards your spine as you roll back towards your tailbone. All right, now we're gonna hold this next one. So exhale as you roll back, make sure those abs are drawing in. Right? You imagine there's a porcupine in your lap and you gotta pull those abs away from the porcupine. And then with your right elbow, you're gonna draw a circle. And then with your left elbow, you're gonna draw a circle. Now try to resist any twisting. So keeping the core tight, do it again with the right arm, draw a circle, keep those abs tight. And then left arm, last one, legs are active. And then grab your legs and sit up tall and release. Lift your heart. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. Take a breath, inhale through the nose, exhale, feel the belly button drawing in, and then roll back. Strong arms reaching out in front of you, active legs, abs are drawing in, that is the priority. Now we're gonna draw a circle with the right arm and this time allow your rib cage to twist back. And then with your left arm, inhale for the first half of the circle, exhale to finish that circle. And we'll do that one more time on each side. Make sure pelvis is stable as you rotate from the rib cage. And then the left arm, inhale first half, exhale to finish that circle. Grab your legs, go ahead and release, counter stretch by lifting your heart. Now that we're warmed up, let's get into our workout. Hugging the block between the thighs, we're gonna find the same position, rolling back, back towards the tailbone a little bit. The priority is the abs drawing in, so just find what works for you. Punch that left arm forward, pull that right elbow back, make sure weight is even between the sit bones, and then we're gonna pulse, rotating from the rib cage. Left arm punches forward, right elbow pulls back. Use your breath, inhale rib cage, exhale to snap that belly back towards the spine. Keep the legs nice and active. Make sure you're not twisting from the pelvis, you twist from the rib cage. And we'll do five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Grab your thighs, sit up, and go ahead and counter stretch by lifting your heart. All right, great job. Let's do the other side. We got 30 seconds, other side. So draw those abs in, snap that belly back, and then pull the left elbow back, right arm punches forward. Now, as we go through this workout, the priority is always drawing the abs in. So as you do these little pulses, rotating from the ribs, you're really focusing on using your breath to draw the pelvic floor and the lower abs in. Nice, keep the pelvis stable, keep rotating, chest is open, shoulders are down. Find your breath, almost there. Five, four, three, pull those abs in and release. Grab your legs, sit up tall, take a breath. All right, moving on to our next move, we're gonna lay on our backs. Take a second, maybe a pillow under your head. You're gonna stamp your lower back down and lift your legs. Grab your yoga block, pin your yoga block between your hands and your thighs. You're gonna push into that yoga block, and here we go, 30 seconds. As you press into that yoga block, you're gonna draw your core down to the floor. That's the priority. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, you can lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Just make sure your elbows are hugging in, your shoulders are down, and yes, the priority, drawing the belly button down towards the spine. So we don't want to dome the abs out, we want to pull those abs in. Activate your feet, three, 
to keep pushing into that block and then you're gonna release. Give yourself a big belly breath here. It's important to get the breath into the abdomen. And we're gonna do a quick counter stretch into a bridge. So with the knees bent, arms down by your sides, lift your hips up. Take a moment, make sure the front of the ribs settle down as you lift the hips up. One more breath, then lower your hips, give your knees a hug, and start to set up for your next exercise. You can put the pillow back under your head, you're going to stamp your lower back down, grab your yoga block, lift your right leg, and pin your block between your left elbow and your right knee. Now 30 seconds starts here. Keeping the pelvis stable, yes, keeping those abs drawing in, and you're trying to squish that block. Support your head with your left hand, and if you want, you can lift that left foot off the ground. Almost there. Keep the feet active. Keep those abs drawing in. Four, three, two one and then release give yourself a big belly breath and then we got to do the other side so exhale stamp that lower back down organize the ribs down organize the pelvis lift the left leg right hand behind your head as you pin the block between your right elbow and your left knee your left arm is reaching down by your side and same thing it's like little pulses we got 30 seconds here trying to squish the block you want little to no weight in your right leg if you want, you can lift your right leg. That will make it more challenging. Abs in, abs in. Shoulders are down. Active feet. You're almost there. Remember to breathe. Breathe into the back of the ribs. Exhale. Pull those abs in. Five, four, three, two, and then release. Take a big belly breath. Remove the pillow from under your head and then take a recovery bridge here, lifting those hips up. Strong arms, press into the back of the arms as you lift the hips and then lower the hips, give your knees a hug and rock a little side to side. Okay, we are gonna repeat those exercises one more time. So come up to seated, grab your yoga block, put it in between your thighs, arms reach forward, exhale, you're gonna roll back. Now we've got 30 seconds each side, so pull the right elbow back, Left arm punches forward, and you pulse. Shoulders are down. You're making sure that your abs are drawing in. Sometimes it's helpful to do a fake cough, because <coughs> that'll help you really draw those deep abdominal muscles in. Little pulses here. Pulling right elbow back, left arm punching forward. The weight is even between both sit bones. The collarbones are smiling. You're almost there. Use your breath. Five, four, three, two, Last one, grab your legs, sit up, do a little counter stretch, take a breath, and then we gotta set up for the other side. 30 seconds, other side, draw those abs in, zip up those inner thighs, left elbow back, right arm punches forward. You're making sure abs are drawing in, and we've got 30 seconds, little pulses. Keep the pelvis stable, the legs are anchored, the rotation is happening from the ribs, and you're training, you're teaching those abs to draw in and support, not push out. Almost there. Keep going. Five, four, three. Build that endurance. And then grab your legs, sit up, do a little counter stretch here. Take a breath. Next move, we lay on our backs. Take a moment, stamp your lower back down, and we're going to do that block squeeze exercise. So legs up, feet active, hug your knees together, pin your yoga block between your hands and your knees, and push. And we got 30 seconds. Shoulders are down, elbows are in. You got to organize the back of the rib cage down because you have abs that attach into your ribs. So it's super important that you organize so that you can stamp those abs down. Press into that yoga block. You're trying to squish that yoga block. Don't let your knees move. You're almost there. Pull those abs in. Push into that block. Take a big breath. Five, four, three, two, and then you're going to release. Ooh, give yourself a big belly breath. And then we'll give ourselves a counter bridge. So removing your pillow from underneath your head. Arms down by your sides. Set up your feet. And then lift your hips. Make sure your front of your ribs are down. And then take a breath. Slowly lower the hips, give the knees a hug, and then we're going to set up for our next exercise. Maybe a pillow under the head, stamp those abs in, lift the right knee. Pin your yoga block between your left elbow and your right knee. Your right arm reaches down by your sides. 
making sure that you're not using your left leg. Left leg is either just gently on the ground or lifted. And then you got 30 seconds pulsing into that yoga block. I know this is a very tough exercise, but you've got this. Stay focused. Keep pulling those abs in. Remember to engage with the pelvic floor muscles. That's going to help you pull the lower belly down. You're almost there. Big breath. Relax your face. Four, three, keep that energy in the core and then release. Give yourself a big belly breath and then we'll switch to the other side. Almost there. Workout's almost done. Stay focused. Organize your pieces, making sure those abs are stamping down. Pin your yoga block between your right elbow and your left knee. Keep your feet active. Keep the shoulders down and you pulse. 30 seconds. You've got this. Focus on inhaling into the back of the ribs so that you can exhale and keep the abdominals drawing in, pelvic floor drawing in. Make sure you're light on that right foot or lifting the right foot off the floor. Make sure you're not leaning over to the left. Keep the pelvis nice and even on the floor. Draw the core in. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release. Take a breath. Remove your pillow and do a counter bridge stretch. Lift those hips up. Shoulders down. Take one more breath and then lower your hips. Let your hips settle on the floor and we're just gonna do a quick cool down and then you're done. So take a breath, hug your knees into your chest, then let your knees go over to the left as your right arm reaches out by your right side. Keep the spine long, look over the right shoulder, take a big breath into your lower back, big open mouth exhale, release the tension. The hard work is over. Now we're just gonna show our bodies some love with a couple more deep breaths. And then bring your knees back to center and we'll twist to the other side, reaching that left arm out, looking over that left shoulder. Use your breath to create space in your lower back. Be patient with your breath. And then bring your knees back to center, give your knees a hug, rock a little side to side. And when you're ready, carefully roll over and come on up. Thank you for sharing your time and sharing this core workout with me today. Awesome job. Please make sure you like and subscribe for more holistic fitness training tips.